Good evening ladies and gents, we are having a crack at a kind of probably what will be a one-off uh, let's play of a great game that I have never played on PS1 before but I played a lot of on PC. The classic theme hospital as brought to you by Bullfrog, the creators of Dungeon Keeper and various other classics. Now this is one of those games that you really need a mouse for and it's for some reason it is it is one of these Oh, it's one of the games that they, they actually didn't incorporate the mouse for, which is effing ridiculous. But um, anyway, so as I say, I've never done it with a with joypad before. Uh, what? Okay. Um, right, I was going to change that. No. Oh. There we go. Uh, sorry, going to just change that nice and quick to, of course, Gex. There we go. And we're going to give it a go. As I say, I've never done this on here. Let's change... Um, we're going to change the skill level down to medium, definitely. Um, there we go. And let's just see what the controller is. Oh my god, I mean look at this. What's going on there? Build menu. Oh, this is going to be such a sort of an experiment, because even in the manual there's just like sod all covered. Um, edit rooms. See, I mean, this could all be done with a mouse, but anyway, we'll see. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Hang on, I'm not actually hear. Oh no, I was just I'm not hearing any sound. There we go. Oh, that noise, that little dun 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 noise is just awesome. I love it. Well, it didn't spin on the PC; it just flashed up. But yeah, so play it on the Mac many times. But I don't record anything on Mac. I, I'm a purely console gamer. When you get to my age. Wow, okay, um, nope. Right, we, uh, we need a reception desk, and I'll put out a couple of benches as well. God knows how you rotate them. Let's put out four benches, and that'll do. Um, hey, that's how you do it, okay. Um, yeah. We'll put a couple of little benches up. God almighty, this is this is so weird to control it with a... Um, oh, I shouldn't have really done four, should I? Because that's now going to cock up my room building thing. Never mind, never mind. Right. Nope. Way! Oh, okay, I see, I see. That's... That's really weird how that controls. Sorry, I'm. No, right, do that there. Um, we'll get a receptionist later. We'll we'll worry about. No. Um, build a room. We need, of course, of course, we need a GP's office. Of course. Oh my God! It's like auto made. What? Oh, okay. This is just so bizarre. It, oh, it really, I, I don't care what anyone says, it doesn't work very well on this. Um, seriously? Seriously? Also, the placement seems a little ropey as well. That'll do. That will do. That will do for the moments on it. This is one of those, obviously, this is the very, yeah, I know we need a doctor. This is very early days. Um, no, but it gets quite hectic, this game, it really does. In a good way, though, it's it's a fun game, it is. I would strongly recommend it on PC. Um, yep, so we got, you need to get the sort of basics done. I'm actually really surprised it let me put a door there, to be honest, anyway. Um, so you have a screen for the patients to get change behind. And we chuck that there, and that's all you need in that room, which is why it always confused me why that room had to be so effing huge. But anyway, um, we also need... Um, see, you need a proper psychiatrist for that, so... Um, what? There we go. Yeah, you need a proper psychiatrist for the uh, psychiatric ward. Hang on. Let me just chuck this in here, if we can. No, it's really sensitive. As I say, this with with a mouse could have been awesome. Could have been awesome, but um, unfortunately, particularly when you're in a bit of a rush, it's not. Uh, hang on, 
We need to buy some stuff as well. We need at least another bed. Um, and a plant to cheer up our patients who are all miserable in hospital. Because they're miserable because they're having to play this on um, console instead of on PC. But anyway, I'm the last person, by the way, before anyone starts going on about, oh, bloody Master Race stuff, I'm the la last person to go on about that sort of thing. But this game does belong... Um, on a con oh no PC no I'm not ready yet I am not ready um, we also need we badly need a pharmacy let's chuck that apologies for that if you can hear that sort of industrial noise din coming from outside they're building something I think they're doing something to the road but anyway fascinating information for you there windows are supposed to sort of improve um, in people's moods. Oh God! We haven't got any. We haven't got any staff. Hang on. He'll do. Get your ass in there. We definitely need a receptionist. Cares a great deal about the job in hand. Don't know why there's no music, but anyway. Oh, we need another doctor. He'll do. Of course, the better they are, the more expensive they are, of course, as well. To be expected. You know, you get what you pay for and all that. We need a nurse. We need a couple of nurses. Stressed and prone to mistakes. See, now, if you want, you can check and you can think, oh, there we go. Different different one. I don't know. Maybe if I... I don't know. If I... You, Bell. If I get the hang of this a bit more... She'll do. She'll do. Just stick her in the ward. There we go. And we also need a handyman. Well, to use the there we go. Oh god almighty, they're kicking off already. Normally it takes a while before you get many um uh many patients turn up, but um and a Kit Kat, a little bit of um what do you call it? Um uh, product placement, there you go, with the old Kit Kat um thingy drinks machine and what hospital wouldn't have like a a junk food kind of kiosk thing there we go we made some money we made some money um it's just really difficult to get the precision of exactly where you want these things there we go now we also need let's have a look what else what other room no oh. Really sensitive as well. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot. We haven't got a toilet yet. We could probably do with some toilets. And I believe I'm going to have a go at making this room a little bit bigger. Yep. There we go. You can. You can make them bigger. There we go. And it's good to to do this with certain rooms. And it is a unisex toilet, of course. What? I want another toilet. Thank you. And we'll put a plant in there in case all the toilets are taken. Um, uh, you can always use the plant. There we go. Oh, no, no. There we go. Done. So you see how this game sort of takes shape. Oh, and we got a couple of these. Damn it, I missed one of them. No, I did not want to look at the queue. That sort of thing is sodding irritating. Why is it not? How do you look at... Toilet facilities are now available. I don't know why the thing isn't letting me look at that little exclamation, because that normally... Why is it not? Oh, make a decision about this patient. Um, we need to build an inflated room, apparently. Um, yes, we shall build an inflate. I've totally forgotten what button that was that I pushed then, but anyway. Um, doesn't matter. We'll build a couple of rooms. We still need, still need a staff room. And I care about my staff. Right, so we're going to build this. And we're going to build it right in the middle, because why not? And we're going to make it a bit bigger so that we can incorporate... Well, you'll see what we're going to incorporate in a moment. No staff room is complete. 
Chuck a window. Didn't mean to do that. Hang on, we need to also make. No, didn't mean to do that. Um, we need another sofa, a pool table, and a TV. See, I care about myself. Here we go. And a TV right in the way of the pool table, and a fire extinguisher, which I didn't mean to pick, but there you go. But we've got it anyway. Right, so let's get on and quickly build an inflator room. And you may think, what the deuce is an inflator room? But you'll find out in a moment. Oh, this stupid thing of having to scroll across to the little tick every time. It can get irritating. It can get very irritating. Yes, we shall put one in there in a minute. Hang on. How did we... Oh, we had an invitator... Uh, a thingy from a, the, the VIP, and I, I no. We need another doctor quickly. Foolish risk, risk taker. He sounds promising. Doesn't he? GP, get in the GP's office. He's in there, and we need more benches. No, despite they, them saying you've got enough benches, we haven't. Believe me, we haven't. Right. Um. Another radiator, and we we'll stick another drinks machine in as well. They're not very good value for money, to be fair. Um, drinks machines. People hardly ever use them, and they cost tons to put in, but anyway. Um, right in front of the window. Nice. <laughs> okay, we'll stick a radiator in over there. I need to figure out what it was that I pushed to get that... There we go. Uh, what it was that I got to get the little icons to appear. Because they become pretty damn crucial later. We get another handyman involved. Not him, because he's apparently not great. Ration easily distracted, that sounds good. Sounds like me. Right. What did we do there? Nope. Ah, that was L2. What? How do you... Oh. Okay, it's just saying, okay, so try and remember, L2 is the little icon button. See, she's unhappy because she's feeling tired. So you can fire them and pick them up and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, she may get arsy in a minute and say she wants a pay rise, but if she does, she can do one. Right, let's see what else we've got. No more facilities that we need. We could do with, yeah, well, let's put a psychiatric ward. The only thing is, the problem with these, is you do need a specialist psychiatrist for these. Look at these terrible, terrible controls. Anyway. And we do need to improve, increase the cost of our, or the value, should I say, of our hospital. Stupid. Right. So it'll no doubt say, oh, there we go, yeah, trained psychiatrist is needed for that. And this one, yeah, we're going to ask ask them to till we get a psychiatrist. Right, so let's see if there's a psychiatrist available, which there probably will be by now. There he is, there's one, there's one. Get in there, right. Cure another three patients and you've done enough to win the level. This is only the very beginning of the level. Oh, look. Stupid. What is our handyman doing? Absolutely nothing. We're going to need another one. Because he's cack. Right, we'll get on that stuff then. And here you see you can control what he does. So we're going to put him up so he's mainly going to focus on rubbish. There we go. Great, we've got rats already who have infested the hospital. Right, what are you doing? Bugger all. Oh no, he is the one we just employed. What's this one doing? Look at this speedy bugger over here. I can't even catch him. Come back, you... Yep. Cured, right. So we can also... Just because we have to increase the value of our hospital, we may as well see what else is available. So we've got, we've got all of those... GP's office. I mean, we could stick another pharmacy in. 
again, later on in the game, this there's a, it becomes very different because you've got a lot more rooms and stuff available, and um, yeah, and you've got to kind of yeah, you you've got to balance what you've got room for in the hospital. Look, see, sodding rats over there. I saw that rat stick his head out just over there. Look, telegram. That's a super hospital, and I should know. I've been in a few. Nice. We got a, gra uh, a bit of a grant. We got one and a half k. Stick another nurse in there. This is one of those games, particularly on on this on console, that can really, can give you quite a, a bit of a, a headache because later on, as I say, it goes absolutely mental. But anyway, and you got to balance things like the heating and uh, stuff as well. Um. It's quite exciting, not exciting, but it's quite interesting when you get um, an emergency kick off. It's quite funny, but um, and you get like a huge group of patients all needing the same treatment, sort of popping up. It's quite good. This is, a, I must admit, this is a fantastic game. It just doesn't translate too well to to PlayStation. I don't know anyone that's ever played it on PlayStation, and this is why. Okay. I love that. Yeah, I, I do love this game. And you see the staff will start when they're knackered, like he is now heading to the staff room. And he may have a mong, he may, as in that is, have a rest, or um, play a bit of pool. And they should sort of manage themselves. The problem is, of course, when you hire a load of staff at the same time, they all tend to get tired at the same time, so then you end up with a bit of a... a bit of a kind of a rush of people all, all in the staff room. We need some more benches, ideally. Because it's essentially one bench per person. Uh, as you'll see. Wow, it actually, I've got to say, the game is actually struggling. And this is on the first level. I can't see how this game could possibly... I honestly don't know how the game could possibly cope with le the later levels, but anyway. Do we have another psychiatrist? It would be, yes, we do. It would be helpful to have two. There we go. Now, you do get this thing sometimes where staff just wander about like a bunch of tits because they're, they're just... They're not entirely sure what they're... For example, if, if all the rooms have staff in... The, the one of the say doctors may just stand in the corridor with nothing to do and then when he's actually knit like he's doing now and this nurse look this is exactly what I mean this nurse could make herself very useful by being in the pharmacy but she just stands there like a pleb and this guy look look at him wandering about like a like a peanut shut it see look there's no one in general diagnosis he could have easily been there And this nurse, you see, there's another nurse here. Look, what's she doing? Absolutely nothing. No, not you, you book. So we're going to pick her up. And you can actually, there is an option where you can stop them leaving rooms. See, look, he's just, look, wandering about like a, like a lost lamb as well. I don't know whether to have another journey. I might have set up, actually set up another... GP's office because that's where most of them tend to go to begin with when they first come in. But yeah, yeah. If you're thinking of of, of training to be a doctor, this is a great game to play. It's um, you don't even need to go to medical school if you can complete this game. What? Then that's all they need. That's all they require. Hang on. Not even finished yet. So yeah, our hospital value. Look at him. Look, what are you doing? What are you doing? No. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of the controls a little bit. Oh. Get in there, you pleb. Right. Look at you as well. Right, there must be somewhere. Somebody somewhere will be needed. 
Now you can get in the inflator room and you can start to stay in the inflator room. Oh yeah, and also you gotta you gotta maintain your machinery, as you can see. Yeah, we are actually gonna page the handyman. There we go. And a handyman should come and fix that. Should, I say. Doesn't mean they will. Doesn't mean they will. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, oh, oh, so stupid handymen. Right, one more handyman. Right, get on it. Do something. Is there a doctor in psychiatry? No. There's, if this guy is a psychiatrist, I'm going to slap him in the face. Oh. Oh, that could be it. Normally this happens at the end of the level. Yeah! There we go. Dear Gex, marvellous. You have handled the running of this hospital superbly. There's a job you'd be perfect for. The salary would be 16050 are you interested in a job at Sleepy Hollow Hospital? So essentially, obviously, then you move on to a new hospital and it's slightly different. What the hell? Because I'm going to remember that. Actually, this is recording, so I don't need to remember it. In your face. So yeah, that's the first level anyway. So it's just to briefly show you what Theme Hospital is like. I may crack on at some point later, but not right now. Because um, I'm quite tired. I've done lots of recording today. So thank you very much for watching that, bit of a kind of hospital sim thing. I would strongly recommend doing this. Pause, there we go. Um, oh, we can save, we can save from here, which is cool. Uh, yeah, give this a go on, definitely on PC, it is, it is really, really good. Or on, or on the Mac, I play it on the Mac and it works just as well. Um, Oh, for God's sake, you can only go sideways. How ridiculous. Anyway, uh, save. Yeah, here we go. So it's saved. So, yeah, give this a go if you like. And as I say, if you want to see more of me doing this, then feel free to let me know. The game does get a lot more difficult. That was the first easy peasy level. So, um, yes, hope to see you on some other Let's Plays. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Holy Trinity, as always. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care.